decades, scientists speculated that a vast molten ocean of magma once covered the moon, but until now there was no definitive proof. That changed with China's Shang'e 6 mission, which successfully retrieved samples from the moon's far side and unexplored frontier. The results? Groundbreaking. These samples confirmed that the entire moon, not just parts of it, was once a fiery molten world, reshaping what we know about its history. How did scientists reach this conclusion? And why is this discovery so important for space exploration and planetary science? Let's dive into the fascinating details. The Chang'e 6 mission, launched by the China National Space Administration CNSA, marked a historic first. The retrieval of lunar samples from the far side of the moon, this side often referred to as the dark side, is hidden from Earth's view due to tidal locking, making it one of the least explored regions in our solar system. Unlike the near side, which has been studied extensively through Apollo and Soviet lunar missions, the far side remained largely a mystery. Until now. Chang'e 6 landed in the South Pole Atkin, SBA Basin, an ancient impact crater spanning 2,500 km and plunging 13 km deep, the largest and oldest known impact basin on the Moon. The importance of this site cannot be overstated. Scientists believe that when a colossal asteroid struck this region 4.3 billion years ago, it may have exposed deep lunar mantle material, offering a unique opportunity to study the Moon's internal composition. The sample return was a technological feat. Unlike previous missions to the near side, where direct communication with Earth is possible, Chang'e 6 relied on the Kekiao 2 relay satellite to transmit data. The lander used a drilling system to collect 1,935.3 grams of lunar rock and soil, which were carefully sealed and brought back to Earth. But why was retrieving these samples so important? Because they hold the key to unlocking the Moon's deep history. Until now, all lunar rock samples came from the near side, leaving scientists with an incomplete picture of the Moon's formation. By analyzing these far side samples, researchers were finally able to test long-standing theories including the Lunar Magma Ocean Hypothesis, which we'll explore next. One of the most fundamental questions in planetary science is how did the Moon form? The leading theory suggests that around 4.5 billion years ago, a Mars-sized body, Thea, collided with Earth, ejecting debris that eventually coalesced into the Moon. But what happened next? For years, scientists suspected that the early Moon was entirely covered in a vast ocean of molten rock, a magma ocean. As this magma cooled, it separated into layers. Lighter minerals floated up, forming the lunar crust, while denser minerals sank, creating the mantle and core. However, there was a major problem with this theory. All samples collected before Chang'e 6 came from the near side, meaning that half of the moon's story was missing. The Chang'e 6 samples finally provided the missing piece of the puzzle. Scientists discovered that basalt samples from the far side and near side share a nearly identical composition, confirming that the same magma ocean process occurred across the entire moon, not just in isolated regions. The samples date back 2.823 billion years, meaning this magma ocean persisted long after the moon formed. A crucial discovery in these samples was the creep layer, a geochemical signature enriched with potassium, K, rare earth elements, and phosphorus, P. Previously, this layer had only been observed in near-side samples, leading to speculation that the far side had a different formation history. But Chang'e 6 confirmed creep exists on the far side too, proving that the entire moon underwent the same molten evolution process. This discovery revolutionizes our understanding of planetary formation. If the moon experienced a global magma ocean, then other rocky planets and moons in the solar system might have gone through similar processes. This could provide clues about the early history of Mars, Venus, and even Earth, whose ancient records have been erased by plate tectonics. Chang'e 6 did more than confirm an old theory. It rewrote the story of the moon's past. But the mission didn't just look at ancient magma. It also provided insights into how the moon evolved after this fiery beginning. Which leads us to another major discovery.
After the magma ocean cooled and solidified, the moon wasn't left in peace. It became a target for relentless asteroid bombardments, and one of the most significant of these impacts created the South Pole Aitken Spa Basin, the very site where Chang'e 6 landed. Unlike smaller craters, the Spa Basin is the largest and oldest known impact structure on the Moon, making it a natural laboratory for studying how colossal asteroid strikes affect planetary bodies. Scientists have long debated how such massive collisions affected the Moon's internal structure. The Chang'e 6 samples finally provided an answer. Researchers found that lead isotope ratios in the basalts from the near and far sides evolved differently. This means that while the entire moon started with a global magma ocean, subsequent asteroid impacts altered the mantle differently in various regions. This supports the idea that large-scale impacts didn't just shape the moon's surface, they also influenced its deep interior composition. The SPA Basin impact occurring 4.3 billion years ago may have excavated deep mantle material and fundamentally changed the moon's internal chemistry. The intense energy released by such a colossal collision would have caused localized melting, potentially mixing mantle materials and redistributing heat in ways that differed from the Moon's initial cooling phase. This explains why the near side and far side, despite originating from the same molten ocean, evolved along separate paths. The near side remained thinner, while the far side developed a thicker crust, which could explain why volcanic activity was more intense on one side than the other. These discoveries don't just apply to our solar system. Exoplanets orbiting other stars may have undergone similar impact-driven evolution. Understanding how a planet's surface and interior change due to massive impacts can help astronomers determine whether exoplanets could be habitable or if they might be too geologically unstable to support life. By studying the Moon's impact history, we can gain insights into how life-supporting planets like Earth evolved, and even how planets outside our solar system might develop over time. The Chang'e 6 mission has revolutionized lunar science. By confirming the global magma ocean hypothesis, it has provided critical insights into how the Moon and potentially other planetary bodies formed. By studying how giant impacts shaped the Moon's evolution, it has shed light on processes that likely influenced early Earth and other rocky planets. These discoveries will fuel future lunar exploration, from robotic missions to human bases on the Moon. They also deepen our understanding of how rocky planets evolve, shaping our search for habitable worlds beyond Earth. These groundbreaking findings mark a new era in planetary science, inspiring further exploration and bringing us closer to understanding our place in the cosmos. The Chang'e 6 mission not only unravels the Moon's past, but also paves the way for future discoveries that could redefine our understanding of the solar system. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.